It had been one of the wackiest days that Nora and Luke could ever remember. When Luke's toy truck, Dumpy, drove them all home from school, Luke and Nora jumped out of the truck and ran inside to tell their mom and dad all about everything that had happened that day. But when they walked in the door, they heard a strange voice yelling, Hey kids, welcome home! Huh? They both thought they had never heard that voice before. And they walked in to see where it was coming from, and it was the microwave. The microwave was talking to them. And then they heard another voice saying, Um, we're out of milk and bread and butter, children. Just so you know. It was the refrigerator. The refrigerator was talking to them too. And they heard a loud noise going, Junk, 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 junk. They saw the whole dining room table hopping up and down and jumping toward them. It was acting like it was really excited to see the kids. Welcome home, kids. I'm so glad you're finally here. We've all missed you so much. And then all the dining room chairs around the table said, We sure did. The kids looked around and saw that everything in their house could talk. Every toy, every piece of furniture, every kitchen appliance, even all the dishes and cups and the silverware and the cupboards and drawers. All of them had a voice of their own. There must have been a hundred different voices all chattering away with excitement about how the kids were home. What? Luke said. What is going on? How are you all able to talk? And then the oven spoke up and said, It was the wizard. We saw him through the window this morning when he cast a spell on the whole house. The wizard? Luke said. Wait, do you mean Merlin the wizard? The wizard who lives deep in the woods behind our house? No, no, not that one. It was the other one, said the oven. The other one? What other one, said Nora? You mean there's another wizard who lives somewhere around here? Yes, yes, said the oven. He said his name was Anton. After he cast a spell on us, he made us all talk. And we heard him pull out his phone and call an alien from another planet. He told the alien that you had some kind of a, a special wand, Luke. Oh, that must be it, said Luke. That's how the aliens knew about my wand. But who is this other wizard and how does he know about me and the wand that I got from Merlin? Nobody else knows about that. And the oven said, Oh, but Anton the wizard, he knows everything and everyone. Even if they don't know him, he's an evil wizard, nothing like Merlin. You must be very, very careful and stay away from him, kids. Luke and Nora didn't know what else to do, so they ran outside to their backyard and yelled into the forest, Merlin, we need your help! Come quick! And then they heard a strange and evil sounding voice from behind a tree. <laughs> How pathetic you children are, calling to Merlin as though he's your personal butler. Do tell me you'll have him bring us some tea while you're at it. Who are you? Luke asked. Greetings, children. My name is Anton the Wizard. I am much older and more powerful than Merlin, and more evil than you'll ever know. <laughs> and just a few moments later, they saw Merlin scurrying out from the woods. Yes, dear boy and girl, do you require my assistance? Oh, oh, dear Anton, what on earth are you doing here? What kind of mischief are you up to now? And Luke and Nora told Merlin everything Anton had said, as Anton stood there with an evil grin on his face. And then Anton said, Well, I'm afraid it is true. Guilty as charged. You can't expect an evil wizard like me to do non-evil things, can you? <laughs> Nora said, Anton, you better leave us alone. This house is a happy place. We don't need any of your evil spells here. Well, 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 you're more feisty than I thought, Lady Nora. You're lucky I have a dental appointment soon, or I would show you what true evil really looks like. I'll leave you all to yourselves for now. Good luck undoing my magic. <laughs>
And then Anton pranced off into the forest. And Merlin said, oh, yeah, goodness gracious me, my, 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 uh, 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 how could this ever happen? Oh, me, oh, my. What? said Luke. And Merlin said, Anton has been known to do this kind of wizardry. But no matter, give me one moment and I'll put all of your toys and dishes and silverware and appliances back to normal. And then Merlin took out his wand and he said, Kalamazoo, Timbuktu, Libidiboo, Shibidiboo. And just like that, all the toys and dishes and silverware and appliances turned right back to normal. Except for one toy who had been sitting behind Merlin this whole time. It was Mixie. Hey, what are you doing? Who is this wizard? Who invited him? Merlin turned around and said, Oh, yeah, it looks as though I forgot one. And right as Merlin lifted his wand again, Mixie said, No, don't take away my voice. I want to live and be free. And then Merlin said, But you're just a wee toy, my lad. You must turn back to a normal toy truck. And Mixie said, But I don't have any friends. I just sit here by myself all day. Luke hasn't played with me in a couple of weeks, and I'm lonely. Wah! And Luke said, really? I didn't know you were so lonely. Is that why you were so rude to Nora this morning? And Mixie said, Wah, yes, I'm so miserable and alone. And then Luke said, well, I'll play with you as long as you promise to be nice. And Mixie said, oh, really? Oh, goody, goody, good, 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 good. And so Merlin said, all right, if you'd like him to stay as he is, I suppose I can leave him alone for now. And then Merlin turned his head and looked out the window and saw Dumpy outside in the driveway. And he said, Oh, my goodness, I see you have yourself a new dump truck, Master Luke. Oh, no, that's actually my toy truck, said Luke. I turned him into a real truck today at school with your wand. And he saved me from an alien. It's kind of a long story. An alien? Merlin said, Who is this alien you speak of? Well, he was Nora's substitute teacher, and he was really mean, and he looked kind of strange. Oh, I see, Merlin said. Well, there's only one alien I know of who fits that description. His name is Commander Kane from the planet Cartwheel of the Pinwheel Galaxy. Trust me when I tell you he is not an alien you want to upset. He's been known to use his laser blaster when he doesn't get his way. And Luke said, oh, I think he'll leave us alone for now. As soon as I gave him my wand, he left us alone. What? You have no idea the power and the danger that you have unleashed. And Luke said, well, he said he was going to use it to save his planet from being destroyed, said Luke. Oh, is that so? Well, I suppose it's probably fine then. Gee, I sure wish I had my wand, though. It was so much fun to play with, said Luke. Oh, well, that's an easy problem to fix. I can get you one of my spa wands right now, Master Luke. Wait just a moment while I go and fetch you one. And Merlin ran out to his house in the woods and grabbed one from his collection and brought it back to Luke. And Luke said, cool, thanks, Merlin. But as Luke held the wand in his hand, he noticed it was red for some reason. So he asked Merlin, hey, Merlin, why is this wand red? And Merlin said, oh, yeah. Did I give you the red one? Yeah, it's actually my favorite color. How did you know, Merlin? Well, that's wonderful. It's your favorite color, Luke. But I should warn you, this wand is more dangerous than any other wand I have. If you utter the wrong spell, it could be a disaster. So be very, very careful, my son. And Luke said, okay, I'm not your son. Don't ever call me that again. But okay, Merlin. And then Merlin said, All right, children, I am quite tired this evening. I shall be heading off to bed. Have a good night. And he ran off into the woods. And then Luke picked up Mixie and said, Okay, Mixie, are you going to keep your promise and be nice? And Mixie said, Yes, sir, I sure am. And then Luke ran outside to Dumpy and said, Hey, Dumpy, guess what? I get to keep you alive and use you as my truck. Now you can drive me to school every day. Isn't that great? And Dumpy said, oh my heavens, that is the best news I have ever heard, Luke. I can't wait to play with you even more. Maybe we can go to your friend's house and you can all jump in the bed of my truck and I can drive you around to go get ice cream or something. 
And Luke said, now that would be cool. And Nora said, hey, why don't we go to Hadley's house and we can go play with Jessica? And Dumpy said, no, that sounds perfect. Let's go, kids, come on. And Mixie piped up and said, what about me? I want to go too. And Dumpy said, well, hey there, Mixie. I guess we can take you too. Do you want to come? Of course I want to come, Dumpy. What do you think? And then Luke said, up. Oh, Remember, Mixie, you said you were going to be nice. It's not hard for me to turn you back into a normal toy again with this new wand I got from Merlin. And Mixie said, oh, right, right, right. All right, I'll be nice. Sorry, Dumpy. And then Luke and Nora and Mixie all jumped into the back of the truck and they drove off to Hadley's house. <laughs>